Hello? Check one, two. One, two, three. Siblings. Siblings. Hello? Is anybody out there? Are you filing in? You getting your seats, everyone? <laughs> How's it going? It's Mike B. Welcome to Vinyl Dreams. In the flesh. I know you miss it. Take a look. We're still here. Barely. And it's another episode of Vinyly! Yes, Vinyly, there is a show for you and me and me and you to talk about records that are good. Good records, not bad records. Good records. And I have another great show lined up for you today. As usual, flying by the seat of my pants. Total improv. We're just going to go through some of the dope jams that are in stock here in the store as of today. And uh, I want you to put the phone down, unless you're watching this on your phone, and put the news down, put the polls away and the counts and all that. Put it all to the side. And let's focus on some dope music. Okay? Are you in? Because I'm ready. Are you guys ready? <laughs> All right, let's do it. We're going to kick off with this jam, a new edit record called Poppers. What could that mean? I have no idea. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Are we ready?
que me nacione y tú a mí me diloca. Me cortas tú a mi vera y tan a tu verme loca. Con el color de tu pelo, color de la amapola. No te quiero por bonita ni tampoco por la ropa. Tiene buenas acciones y tú a mí me loca. brand new jam new edit series coming from the folks who give us have a nice day records i believe and that records is called poppers go figure um wow what a jam i'm loving that and i want to stay in the same sort of area um so we're going to keep the disco flowing for the time being and um i want to play this little seven inch um this record is really really cool i'm going to put it up on the screen now so you can see it um it's a little seven inch on the hello sailor label out of brazil um which have been putting out some really great edits in the last few years and um this is no exception a lot this one is definitely on a heavy 80s tip um but i think you're gonna dig let me make sure it's at the right speed i believe it is all right are you ready here we go
Jeans amestrados, andando na rua E homens com sede, tomando água da chuva De cabeça pra baixo, tudo é tão diferente Right. Um, that was Será Que Eu Tô Pirada, and that's Hotaru on the edit. Sorry about my mangled Portuguese, but that's what you're going to get. <laughs> that's on the Hello Sailor label, um, which we just got in, a really nice little 7-inch. I don't know if you can see on the screen there. But um, really, really great little double-sided 7 with a couple cool 80s edits of some Brazilian pop um really cool that's in stock right now and i'm gonna stay in a similar vein we had this record in stock um a few weeks or maybe a month or so ago and it flew out the door like we could not keep it in stock i think we sold it in all copies in 10 seconds so i managed to bring a few more in and um, i wanted to make sure y'all knew that this was here um, this is a edit label that's associated with the label multi-culti and they, they call their label Cult Edits. Um, this is Cult Edits number six. I'm not sure of the track. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm even on the B side or A side, but we're gonna play this jammy anyway. This is off Cult Edits number six. Check it out, here it comes. Yo llegué a 
adelante, no quiero la que mi cabello, no quiero, y voy a reírme de aquellos que por evitar, según ellos, que por evitarnos algún sin sabor, llaman a los negros gente de color, y de qué color, negro, y qué lindo suena, negro, y qué rumbo tiene, negro, 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 al fin, al fin comprendí, al fin, ya no retrocedo, al fin, y avanzo segura, al fin, avanzo y espero, al fin, y bendigo al cielo porque quiso Dios que negro azabache fuese mi color y ya comprendí, al fin, ya tengo la llave, negro, 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 Right, all right. Cult edits number six. I'm still not entirely sure which one that was, and I'm not gonna guess, um, but uh, great record all around. Tons of great stuff on there. Lots of usable DJ fodder as well. Um, that is currently in stock, and we got a bunch of them, so go grab it while they are here. Um, let's move on to um, this great label, Masala Records which has been putting out edits of uh, Indian pop music and classical music for a minute now. Um, the, the main guy who does these edits is called Cutmaster Singh, um, which is pretty great. And uh, I've been feeling these as they've come through. I think this is the second or third one. Um, and they're all pretty great. I want to continue in this sort of world house, world disco vein. So Cutmaster Singh, check this out. This is in right now.
Oh yeah. That's a banger right there. Some Acid Bangra from Cutmaster Singh on the Masala label. Great record. The last one was great. This one is great. And the art is killer. I'll even turn this around so you can see the, uh, the, the smiley face Indian style on the flip. I love that so much. Um, yeah, and we're going to continue on in the same vein with some more Indian vibes. Um, there's a new record in the Trips series, which Red Axes have been doing for the last uh, year or so. Um, they did one that was Africa and one that was focused on Vietnam, which is my personal favorite. That's like a killer record. They're kind of remixes slash edits of, um, I wouldn't say pop music necessarily or classical music, but music from that country. And this is another great, um, another great iteration of the series. Um, here, let me put the sleeve up there so you can check it out. And um, so yeah, Trips number three by Red Axes coming at you right now.
six seven hundred years back. It is said Tan Sen was so expert in his singing and development of ragas that he created a raga called Raga Malhar. When he used to sing and he would pray the gods of the heaven to give rain, it actually, it is said, it used to rain. He invented a raga called Deepak Raga. Deepak means lamp, raga means melody. So he invented a raga called Deepak Raga. In the evening, like we are sitting here, a lamp would be kept like a candle. And it is believed when he used to sing Deepak Raga, slowly that lamp would burn by itself with a vibration. One of my dreams is to reach at least a little close to what Tan Sen was. So this Raag Darbari was created by Tan Sen. cut there because she's away my home is lonely my house is empty I don't like it here anymore Oh yeah, that is a scorcher, a slow burning scorcher. 
And um, Dor here from Fault gave me the scoop, Dor and Dundee, on this record. Apparently, these Red Axes records, these Trips records, they travel to that country and they work with local musicians to make these tracks. I think this one is the most obvious of that technique, but they like work with local music schools to produce these records, which is really cool. Way, way cooler than I described it earlier. Big ups to Red Axes for the uh, international, uh, the international groove. I love it. All right, we're gonna leave the end of that to be a mystery. Buy the record to know how it ends, <laughs> if you want. We're gonna move on to the next track and I'm gonna um, keep it a little more upbeat um, with this Italo reissue by Nando Literi. Um, Nando Literi, this song's called A-A-A-O, <laughs> or A-E-A-E-O, if you're just strictly Americanizing that. But um, A-A-A-O by Nando Literi, jamming Italo track, reissued on the Proxima label, just come out, and uh, here it is.
dorme la città, ma non certo qua, suoni e colori, alcol e amori, e sono intrecciati. Right, Nando Letteri, another fantastic Italo cut. Man, the remastering on some of these uh, newer versions sounds so good, and that's one of the one of uh, the great examples right there. Um, man, that record sounds real good. It's funny, Italo is one of those genres. It's like uh, a very um, <laughs> a low hit to miss ratio, but when you do find the right jam, oh, it rocks! It just rocks. Um, we've had this release for a little while now, and um, I want to call your attention to it because we got a few more copies back in, and it's so, so dope. Um, this is um, Velvet Season in the Hearts of Gold, which is Jerry Rooney, who um, basically ran Black Cock Records with Harvey back in the 90s, one of the, uh, really one of the first edit labels um, to be putting stuff out in the mid-90s. And... Um, and Joel Martin from Quiet Village. Um, these guys are really on the next level um, than a lot of the other like edits that come out. And every time they put a release out, it, you know it's going to be quality. I want to stay on the Italo tip. So this is called Voices. I'm not sure what the original is here, but it's Velvet Season and the Hearts of Gold. Um, and as usual, um, it's a sick jam. And I'm going to play it for you right now.
That is one for the still going crew. That's a 4 a.m. jam if I ever heard it. Sick stuff from Velvet Season and the Hearts of Gold. Always love their edits. There's always going to be some surprises. And nine times out of ten, you're not going to have any idea what you're listening to. Boy, is that good. We're going to move on to some more edits. This time is from uh, a label that we've had in stock before called Misadventures. The last couple releases on this label were by uh, Andy Hanley, who is, I think, one of the, like, unsung heroes of dance music um he's not too many people know him unless you're sort of already clued in he was a resident at body and soul um which is wild to think of uh, he's a, a, a brit in new york um who who was one of the residents of body and soul alongside uh, you know um heroes literal heroes and now he's kind of living a quieter existence and putting out these amazing edits every few months or six months or so and uh a lot of the time they're on a real chill out tip so if you're into the whole like Balearic really chilled out vibe then he's got a lot of amazing edits for you um there's a, a particular one on the promo only label which is like a wrong records edit label um that's a double pack of edits it's amazing if you can track that down on discogs because it's been out of print for years um Great release from Andy, and so I believe this to be uh, from him as well. Both sides are really great, usable edit tracks for DJs, and um, this is no exception. Um, I really want to play this jam for you. We're gonna switch the vibe up a little bit too, because I'm ready to uh, I'm ready to get my groove on again. I love that hypnotic stuff, but sometimes you just want to like get it started. So here it is.
All right. Sick Giorgio Moroder production on that edit of Susie Lane's Harmony. So sick. What a tune. Really brightens up my day. I don't know about yours. But I have a little skip in my step now after hearing that. Hey, um, if you're just tuning in, welcome to Vinally, a show about records that we do here at Vinyl Dreams once a month with the Fault Radio crew and hospitality in the place. Speaking of hospitality, I want to shout out that Vinyl Dreams is doing a, uh, we're touching down uh, at the hospitality live stream on November 18th with uh, Ross uh, Spruill and Nick Schuster representing Vinyl Dreams from 6 to 11. That's November 18th on the Hospitality live stream. Go check it out. I want to say hi, Mom. My mom is watching. Hi, Mom. It's nice to see her in the mix up in here. And we're going to stick with the disco vibe because that is what is keeping me going right now. As I said, turn off the TV, put the polls and the fact-checking and the vote countdown and just get into some good music with me here. We're gonna keep going for another hour or so, and I have a nice thick stack of stuff to get into still, so we're gonna keep moving. I'm Mike B, this is Vinyl Dreams, Fault Radio crew in the background. What's up to Jess and Alex in the chat, telling you what you need to know, sending you links to everything that we're gonna play, which is all for sale at vinyldreamssf.com. Don't forget that. If you like it, go pick it up, support Vinyl Dreams, the best way we like you to support us is buying records. So go for it. Up next, this is uh, uh, Dave Lee, who recently changed his name. He used to go by Joey Negro. Um, and this is his uh, edit of Fatback's Do the Bus Stop, which is a jam, which you're about to find out if you're not knowing. Um, and he has been someone who has been championing amazing music for years and years and years. Um, and does definitely deserves that recognition um and this just came out on the italian reissue label groovin it's got a nice here let me show you the sleeve it's got a nice picture sleeve and this label has been putting out some killer stuff all officially licensed and remastered jams and so let's get on with it fatback are you ready to do the bus stop yes i am Are you ready to do the bus stop? Bus stop. 
All right. Yeah. Yes. Are you ready for the bus stop? I know I am. Of course, there's a very famous dance that's to that song, the dance that ultimately became the electric slide, if you know what I'm talking about. The bus stop is like a Chicago phenomenon, and this is the track that, uh, that influenced that dance. So if you know how to do the bus stop, I hope you are doing it at home right now. Let's move on to another jammy. We're continuing on. This is a fun record that we just got on the UK uh, label Lang, and it's a bit of a family affair. The artist here is uh, are very close to Vinyl Dreams. It's uh, they're called Q and A, and it's a new moniker of Quinn Lamont Luke, aka Bing Jiling, and Alexis Georgopoulos, um, both of whom used to be San Francisco residents, and. Um, uh, both very active musically. Um, Alexis uh, founded a band called Tussle that you may remember from back in the day and now um, makes music under the name Arp, amongst other things. In fact, the flip on this record is tracks by him under the name Lex. Um, and Quinn has been continuing to make music this entire time. Um, you should check out both those artists individually because um, what they do is really, really cool and good. And this is a label sampler from the 10 year anniversary uh, record that's uh, coming out on Lang soon. And um, these tracks are all killer. In fact, there are a couple other local artists who have tracks on the 10 year anniversary for Lang. Uh, and we'll probably be getting to that next month once that uh, release comes in. We'll be playing that for you. But uh, now let's check it out. Q&A, this track's called Pulse. Uh, on Lang Records. We, we love uh, Quinn and, uh, and Alexis. Big ups, you guys. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, big ups to Quinn and Alexis for that. That's a jam. Love those mid-tempo joints. Kind of punky, funky vibes on that. Really, really nice. That's a new label sampler uh, from the 10 year anniversary release from Lang Records. Q&A on one side and Alexis Georgiopoulos on the flip as Lex. Um, boy, great release. Really, really feeling that right now. And uh, now we're going to get into something a little different. Um, this is a new release. Uh, look at that sleeve. So nice. Um, from, um, they're called Stash Magnetic. This is the My Future EP. And I believe this is Dan Wainwright's remix. Um, I'm not quite sure because the titles are a little confusing. But um, this is a great record. The All the three other tracks on this release are actually like slow tempo really kind of punky uh, electronic music with vocals whereas this is a little bit of a different vibe and i love the uh the cover on that boy it looks good so let's get into this stash magnetic at vinyl dreams
right. Stash Magnetic there. Dan Wainwright on the remix, I think. Interesting side note, that's on a label called Field of Dreams. You may recognize that name. They've been putting out records for a few years now and largely on the kind of Weatherall, Love From Outer Space, like slow mid-tempo Italo vibes. And this is kind of a departure for the label, but one of the interesting things is that the label is at least partially run uh, by Alan McKenzie, who you might know was in the group D D Ream back in the rave days. They had a UK hit with a song called Things Can Only Get Better, um, which was kind of like a big sort of progressive house uh, rave tune with vocals and stuff back when they were like a lot of chart hits in that vein. Um, and he's still making music, still in the in the mix. And this label, Field of Dreams, is his. So you definitely want to don't want to sleep on that. And the rest of that record is kind of bizarre. You might want to like take a listen to the rest of it on the website. You might be surprised because it is a bit different than that remix. I specifically played that mix because I like it so much. Now I want to send a shout out to our good friend Sunshine Jones. Hope you're out there, Sunshine. What's up, man? Um, he just self-released a remix record. Um, he put out an album last year called Home, which we um, sold a ton of copies. We were one of the like only shops uh, in, in the States that were carrying it. And um, now we're one of the only shops carrying his uh, remix record, um, of which I believe most of the copies of this are already sold out through his website. But we managed to get a stack. Remixes on this bad boy are from Prince Thomas and DJ Spun. I want to shout out both of those dudes who are both friends of the store and people that I personally look up to as a DJ and a human being. They're really great guys. Um, I want to play Prince Thomas's remix, which is solid. The remix is of the like main cut off the album, which was called Fall in Love, Not in Line. Great track. Very, very Sunshine Jones. Uh, his vibe is so so uh, much about spreading positivity and love, and uh, this is really no exception. It's like s square bullseye for uh, for his whole vibe right now, and I think Prince Thomas really nailed the mix. So let's check it out.
never fall in line.
All right. Man, with these Prince Thomas remixes, it's always that last third of the song that just keeps getting more and more pretty and dense and flowy. And man, he's just the master. Shout out to Prince Thomas. Shout out to Sunshine Jones. What a great record. Fall in Love, Not in Line remixes in stock now. Not too many places you can get that at the moment. So grab it while you can. And thank you for everybody that already did grab one in the last like 10 minutes. Appreciate that. Um, sticking with the Fam Jam, um, there's a new release on the... Um, let me back up. So our, our friends at Hospitality have a, an outpost in Chicago called House Pit Shy. And House Pit Shy has a label. They're on their second release, and we just stocked both first and second releases. Put them up on the shop this morning. It's the first thing when you go to the website. And it's a really nice various artists joint with Brian Bailly. Big ups, Brian. Um, with uh, Change Request, a.k.a. Andrew Emmel. Big up, my man, Andrew Emmel. Um, Want to say what's up to Chrissy, who has a track on this. And who am I missing? I'm not sure. But... It is a family affair. A lot of uh, homies on this. Um, Great People and Deep Smith, who I'm not really sure. But Big Up Change Request and Baye and Chrissy. We're going to get into that right now. I'm going to play the Change Request track, the first one, um, which I quite like. That's probably my favorite of the bunch. And, uh, you know, I don't know too many places that are selling this at the moment. Um, so you definitely want to, like keep your eyes peeled let me see if i'm not really getting a signal off of that there we go all right let's check it out
the lights on. Hey, had a little mic problem there. Uh, big ups to the Chicago Hospitality family. That's the second release on House Pitch Shy label um, that our boy Brian Bailly is uh, is um, working for the House Pit crew. Um, tracks from uh, Change Your Quest, Andrew Emmel, Chrissy, and more. Um, you're definitely want to, gonna want to get up on that. We got about 15 minutes left, maybe a little less than that in the in the show today. But I have a couple more jams I want to play for you. Um, this one is from our friends in Australia, um, who I um, got to meet a couple of years ago. Um, they run a label called Chubby, <laughs> Chubby Records, uh, and they are...
up? Are we in the mix? We had a few microphone difficulties there. But I think we've solved them. And I've only got one more track to play for y'all, so. Um, we just heard from Deep88. Great track on the Chubby label. This is a uh, various artists, 12-inch on Chubby with tracks from uh, Vincent Floyd, Deep88, and um, Derek Carr. Um, Deep 88 is an Italian producer whose uh, work I love so much, and uh, that's why I picked that track because it's killer deepness. Um, I got one more track to play for y'all. This is from our friends up in Canada, in Vancouver. Um, it's kind of an odd record. Um, it's a bit pop, a bit 80s, and I'm going to play this tune. Uh, I believe it's called, um, let me see if I can s get the track list here. It is called uh, Can You. This is the local artist remix, I believe. Um, these are all uh, our friends from up in Canada, and uh, this record's interesting. It's going to be our last track. I'll play it, and I'll come back at the end to say goodbye. To continue to hold, press 3. For additional information on this service, press 4. Thank you. 
sickness. Yo, that's the Gooch on his Caught Up In You 12-inch. There's a bunch of great mixes on there, as well as this sick remix from local artist. Big ups to our friends up in Vancouver for this one. I brought this in a few weeks ago, and it's been a bit slow to move, which I'm confused about because it's a great record. Hey, everybody. We're about at the end of the show. Thank you so much for sticking with us for this two hours for another episode of Vinyly. Um, big ups to everyone in the chat. Tim Aviance, Hospitality, Brian Baye, Monet, Big Raff, from Omakase, who am I missing? Femme Electric, uh, Alex and Jess for being in the chat. Um, Mickey, I want to shout out everyone in the chat that hung out with us today while we played you some new tunes from the shop. Um, again, I had like probably another two hours in me but you know there's only so much we can do and i don't want to overload y'all so i hope this week uh and weekend gives you some peace maybe stay away from the news for a little while and get into some good music um if you want to help out vinyl dreams and you don't own a record player you don't buy records you're welcome to donate to us through our venmo which is at vinyl dreams sf or through PayPal, which is VinylDreamsUS at gmail.com. Um, you're feel free to help us. We certainly need your help. We're operating at about 50% capacity right now as far as our sales are concerned. And it's kind of, it's an uphill climb for sure. But I'm glad you like the show. I'm gl uh, we got a lot of positive feedback from this. So we're going to keep doing it once a month around the first Friday of the month. Um, so keep your eyes peeled to across these platforms. And next week, we will have an archived version of the show. We'll start posting that to our socials so you can watch again if you missed the first half or missed any of it. Um, yeah, VinylDreamsSF.com is the website. Please go there. You know, as much as we like donations, we like to sell records way, way more. So please go and buy some records. You can buy a gift card. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you all for your continued support. We super appreciate it. You're helping keep Vinyl Dreams, this crazy thing that we built alive, um, especially through the pandemic. So thanks for tuning in. Thank you to Fault Radio uh, for all of their help. Yeah, big ups, Dundee and Door. Um, wouldn't be able to do it without those guys. And um, they help us bring this to you. So thank you to them. And uh, we'll see you next month. Peace. <laughs>